A lot of people ask me what the difference is between an issue and a crisis, and um, probably the best definition I heard years ago when I first came into PR was that um, an issue becomes a crisis when the media find out about it. Um, I don't think it's that simple, but that's quite a good rule of thumb to keep in your head. I think nowadays with the growth in social media, um, it probably isn't just the news media, it's when uh, an issue spreads out on social media, which can be very damaging unless you have done all the right things to control it in the first place. I think the key uh, lesson about making issues management work is to be a very good in-house advocate, have good relationships within your organisation um, from the top to the bottom because quite often you're trying to convince uh, a senior manager in another department that something he's dealing with could potentially be an issue uh, and quite often they don't see it because they're not looking um, at things in the same way that the communication advisor is. Uh, we're always looking at things from, oh, if the media found out about this, would it give them uh, an angle to attack us or whatever that might be. Within my career, I've had to manage a lot of issues. Um, I worked in uh, the railway industry. We had several big um, train crashes um, and we had um, issues you know, behind the scenes uh, before that happened. Uh, probably the nuclear industry was um, where I really cut my teeth in this sector. I, um, I was head of uh, the nuclear uh, company BNFL, which is a global nuclear company, and we had issues all around the world because nuclear industry is of that nature. Um, and some of them, you know, sometimes we lost uh, the battle and the thing went external, but quite often we were able to contain uh, an issue just by managing it sensitively. And we had to bring back some fuel, some nuclear fuel from Japan by, by sea, uh, and we put in place a really good issues management strategy on a global basis. Um, and we managed to get the fuel back safely without any adverse media reaction. And that is one of the case studies I go into in a lot of depth as part of the ISOC um, training courses. Of course, the key thing about ISOC is many of us have actually handled these crises. We're not reading them out of a textbook. We've actually been there and done it, and, and we share that knowledge with you.